Hello, internet. Hello, people that are listening. This is... I. There's a problem sometimes with Guitar Hero 3 for PC, where you'll be playing along just fine, and you'll miss a note, and even though you missed, the guitar track will keep playing, and you don't know what to do, because you don't know whether you're hitting notes or not. Um, there's also the issue sometimes where uh, it'll be the opposite, where you will miss a note, and it will just stop playing the guitar track, as it should, and then when you start hitting notes again, it won't read, like the guitar track won't start playing again. And this is a problem, as far as I know, with the crazy amount of frames you render when you're running with, like, a... I have a GTX 960. So that thing puts out, like, 2,500 frames a second in Guitar Hero 3, because it's an old game. So, um, I think there's, like, a frame timing issue or something. Either way, when I play the game, sometimes it doesn't play nice. So, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue without having to turn on uh, V-Sync, which would cause your lag to be horrible. And, like, you can only set the audio lag to 200 milliseconds, which is normally fine with V-Sync off, but with V-Sync on, it's just not enough. The lag's too much. So, first thing you want to do is this link here. Um, I will put it in the description. It's the first one. It will take you to this website called xcode.com, and uh, it is the place to download a software called Dextry. Which I know what you're thinking, that's a recording software, but it also has other purposes, trust me. I, for the longest time, thought it was just a recording software, and I was actually surprised that this worked. But hey, it does, so download it, install it like you would any other software. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go forward with the, um, just with the assumption that you guys that are watching this understand how to install stuff, and understand a basic use of software. If you have any extra questions that I don't want to really cover in this video, leave me a comment. I'll answer you. Don't think I won't. I actually will. Even if this video is like six years old or something, I will answer you. Um, so it's not six years old now, but obviously, you know, sometimes I see tutorials that are that old, but other way. Okay. After you've installed it, just open it up. You probably just saw a black screen. That's just because it asked me for administrator permission. So what you want to do is you'll get this to pop up. It'll show up like this probably. The first thing you want to do is don't worry about anything. You click this. If Guitar Hero 3 is not on this list, which it is for me, um, you'll want to start up the game and Alt-Tab out of the game and it will show up. Um, and then click on it. So this is this profile for this game. It automatically generates profiles based on you know what it sees running. As you can see, it's like seen like four things for me. So you go to this um, tab right here. It's called Advanced. It has the little chippy on it, a little, little PCB sticking out there. You want to just check this one bottom box that says Limit Video FPS, and you want to take whatever your monitor's refresh rate is and double or triple it, or quadruple it. In my case, I doubled it because I have a 144 hertz monitor. I have mine set to 288. Um, I keep it double because it really doesn't matter, and if you keep it at exactly the frame rate of your monitor, sometimes if it goes down to it goes down to like say if it's 60, it goes down to 59 for a little bit, which causes some stuttering. It doesn't bother you, but or it doesn't bother me at least, but I find that if you set it to about double, it doesn't change anything, but it keeps that from happening. So go ahead and just set it there. As long as it's under like a thousand, it'll be fine. You can just pretty much set it to anything. It doesn't even have to be a multiple, but I like it too because I record and I want it to record at a specific frame rate. In fact, I set mine to 240 and downscale my monitor's refresh rate to 120 when I record, so it records at 60 with no stuttering. So, moving on. We're going to go ahead and minimize this, and now we're going to want to download, go, go here to the second link, and download 3D Analyze. Now you don't have to do this, this is actually optional, but it is a good software to have. You open up the link, wait for this picture to load, and this picture itself is a, as you can see by this down here, a .exe file. And my antivirus thinks it's dangerous, but this is where I downloaded it, and it works fine. This is the official website of the guy who makes it. To meet systems, he's like a Russian dude apparently, or might be like actually a group of people, like an actual company. I don't know. It seems old, so whatever. Yeah, just download it and install it like you would anything else. Um, it's an installer, not yeah. So you just extract, install, etc., and start that up. And as you can see right here, there's a select option. You click it. You find your Guitar Hero 3.exe file. Um, if you don't know what that is, um. Try to find it based on what you see up here. If you can't figure it out, uh, leave me a comment. I'll answer more specific questions, but I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible. 
Um, I set mine to force windowed mode. That way I can alt tab out and stuff with no problems. I've had an issue before where if it goes full, full screen, even if I alt F4, nothing comes back up and I have to restart my computer. So this prevents that from happening. So go ahead and do that. And as you can see, since I have it set to um, limit my frames, I hit run. As you can see, in the top left corner, it shows Dextry will show you how many frames per second you are rendering. And as you can see, oh crap, let me, uh, I have my default thing set wrong. Give me a moment, I'm going to alt tab out real quick. Actually, I'm just going to alt F4. Let me change this real quick. Um, you can... I set my speakers to my condenser mic. That's unfortunate. Let us set this to default device. Hit OK. And let's see if this will record well. If it doesn't, oh well. I've already got the good part set up. But as you can see, it's rendering 30 at the intro like it should. And then when it gets in, it should be at about 2... Yeah, see, it's, you can hear the sound now. It's about 280-ish. 288 is my But it goes a little... But anyway, as you can see, it's working just fine. Um, but that amount of frames up there, believe it or not, the software actually limits the amount of frames the game renders. It doesn't seem like it should work that way, but it does. So just to prove to you that it works, go to my custom menu here. You may not have this if you don't use a uh, guitar or control panel, but if you're on PC, you probably do. Um, you can see that the frame rate display in the game concurs with what's showing out up there. So the game is rendering that many frames per second. Oh, well, I was going to turn that off, but whatever, I'll just leave it on. Uh, just play a little quick thingy do to show you. I don't know what song I selected. What did I select? Oh god, I'm in the band. You know what? Screw it. We're picking a different song. I don't like that song. Okay, cool. Let's do this one instead. I have a mic in front of my face, so this might be rough. But as you can see, I'll demonstrate that I can miss notes. So let's just do this real quick. I'm hitting him, and I'll miss. And it picks up just fine. And I miss again. Pick him right back up. Works just fine. I'll try to do my outro while playing a song. So what I want you guys to do is try this. And if it worked for you, tell me in the comments. Because if it doesn't work, I'll try to troubleshoot with you and help you. But since there was no tutorial on this specific issue, since there was no um, tutorial on this specific issue, I figured I'd make one. Um, because a lot of people have had this issue, and when I went to the subreddit, no one had any ideas. So, they just said kind of like, it's a thing you have to deal with. But I found a solution, which no one has apparently shared as a video form yet. So, go ahead and try it. Let me know. Um, no, no, don't restart. No. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Well, Windows 10 is a fun thing. It just told me I'm going to restart in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, yeah, just go ahead and hit subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's fine. This is a tutorial. I'm not expecting repeat customers. But if you like, found this video helpful, just hit that like button. All right, see you guys later. Uh, bye.